And they're saying that no country is immune from the debt crisis contagion if it's not solved very soon. Um, I guess the interconnected is definitely being underestimated there for a long time. Let's get to our next guest, David Costa, Dean at Robert Kennedy College, joins us live from Zurich. So good to have you with us, David. I would like to talk to you a little bit about, well, you know, the state of the financial sector in general. We have yet again SMP downgrades. We have yet again uh, Fitch now looking at the banking sector. I get the feeling, and also a lot of commentators say, hey, they are behind the curve anyway. And at the moment, they are not certainly helping sentiment. How do you see it? I think uh, we are entering really in another crucial part of this crisis uh, because uh, there is a lot of uh, need for capital at the moment throughout the European banks uh, and we don't see a lot of support. So there is somehow a link between uh, the sovereign debt cri crisis and the banks itself and I don't see a, a quick resolution of the problem because in this climate raising capital it is very difficult. And what is even more concerning is that uh, weak bank will inevitably have an effect on the economy. So it will probably have an effect on the impact on growth on sustainability and also on competitors of Europe so the situation is indeed fairly serious and I do expect more potential downgrades to come in the future downgrades in the future we have Basel 3 coming up um, that means if you say impact loan activity will slow down even further in 2012 this is what you're seeing and um, why is that not perhaps being helped by asset sales uh, and trying to get any kind of um, you know spin-offs going in order to get the, the, well, the status of the, of the balance sheet uh, sorted out. Well, we are having asset sales uh, across the board pretty much even on uh, fairly profitable operations. So we have seen some of the uh, Latin American operations being sold and some of the Eastern European operations being discontinued all sold altogether. And that will impact the future of profitability in the banking sector in, in the future. So is that uh, certainly a good step, but it's not enough. And is that going to be helpful on the long term or is it just going to be a measure on the short term? So the deleveraging process which is starting is far greater than what we have seen with the, some of the sales that are happening, now, is that happening now and we need some sort of prompt resolution of this crisis with intervention from the European Central Bank sooner better than later if we want uh, the banking crisis to yeah. be solved as well. We will not yeah. see a strong economy with a weak banking sector. Yeah but David I'm just wondering just a few weeks ago you came onto this program and said banks were at rock bottom that investors should get in now and buy European banks. What has changed in the past couple of, mo couple of weeks for you to change your mind? Well, as you know, I've always been very positive on uh, the resolution coming to the arrival in Europe. I waited summit after summit to see some sort of announcement saying this is the end of the crisis, this is the resolution. But this didn't came. And uh, because of uh, what is the path now taken by the politician, which is pretty much uh, we are going through uh, a fiscal union, we will have uh, years ahead of, uh, to solve this crisis. Because of that, I think that in the short term, the risk reward ratio in financials has changed dramatically. And for that reason, I think the picture has changed itself. Um, sorting out the crisis will take a long time, and we'll have to really come back to you through uh, out the time. David Costa here, thanks very much for now. He's Dean at Robert Kennedy College. Have a great weekend. Well, France, meanwhile.